Holy smokes, folks. Here we go again. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Who's ready to go see what kind of mischief we can get into today? Well, hello everybody. Old Big Mike here in the Hoopty Barn. I know I need to be working on this, but instead, I'm working on this. What is this? Oh, yeah, I got myself in a situation again. Bought out another estate sale and going through everything and trying to get everything squared away. And well, whilst I'm doing it, Going through all my fishing junk. And I, I got a bunch of fishing junk. I mean, a bunch of fishing junk. I mean, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of fishing junk to go through. <sighs> I've been going through this stuff for, well, a couple of few days now. And today, I'm going to kind of switch places with Bear Rose. How's that you say? Well, if you remember last year for the No Name Nationals, he was working on a 68 Mercury park lane and I was working on a Dodge well as you may or may not know right now he's working on a Dodge which is pretty hilarious if you ask me and me today I'm gonna work on a Mercury no it ain't no park lane it's a Mercury 15 horse outboard motor and what am I gonna do well my fuel inlet right here is messed up. My hose won't stay on. I'm going to have to take this dude apart. And I'm going to have to take this part out. And then I'm going to have to chase down another one. And I, we got several marine centers around here because we've got a lot of fishing places around here. And hopefully, hopefully one of these places has got one of these so I can just swap it out real quick. If not, I'm either going to have to work on my 9.9 .9 Johnson or I'm going to have to work on my 15 horse Evinrude. But one way or another, we're going to have to get one of these going because... Right now, the crappie fishing's heating up. And I've been promising myself that I'm going to get out there and I'm going to do some fishing this year. I am not going to let another year go without doing my fishing. I've always fished my whole life. And I kind of, oh, I let other things get in my way. You know, like No Name Nationals business. You know. <laughs> not that it's a burden, because <laughs> I love that too. But, but, this year, we are definitely going to get the crappie rods out, and we're going to go out and catch some crappie, and I'm hoping to do that tomorrow, so I got to get busy on this motor and see if we can't get one of these dudes going, so stick with me, we'll see where we get. So if you're from the south... You may have heard this expression. Even a blind old sow can find an acorn now and then. In other words, even the dumbest of dumb fools gets lucky. Well, I happened to think about it before I started tearing all this apart. You know, where this thing was having a problem getting its seal, I put a O-ring on there out of my handy dandy little hobo freight o-ring assortment 
everybody should have one of these or two of them anyway and I had to mash a little bit harder but yeah yeah now she has a good solid fit and I bet your money she ain't leaking no more I mean I don't know about you but I don't really want a fire in my boat so next I'm gonna go get a empty barrel we're gonna put this thing in it and we're gonna see if we can fire this bad boy up before we put her on our boat and I ain't doing a bunch of swapping out and this and that and the other and blah 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 so anyway let's find us a barrel and uh, see what we can do all right, well, I got my barrel. I figured, you know what? The barrel's in the same place as the boat, so I figured, well, I might as well go ahead and bring the boat down here, too. Let y'all see what we're working with. You know, prepare yourselves. She's pretty modern and fancy and all that. <laughs> yeah. 1964 Alumacraft. 16 foot V bottom. She's a she's just a pretty good old boat, man. The trailer's a 1961. I think it's a Hollister or Holster or Halstead or something like that. Let's see. Hollister. Anyway, she's just a pretty good old boat. I ain't never had any trouble with her. And, uh, but I'm just gonna go out, you know, fishing back in the coves and all that stuff. Man, I'll tell you what, she's just a fine little fishing boat. So, anyway, I just thought y'all might enjoy seeing that dude there. So, I think, because of the height here and all that, I might just go ahead and. Uh, barrel there we'll just set her on there and we'll see what we can do okay so apparently it wasn't leaking at the junction like I thought anyway but if you look right back here at the top plate on the carburetor when I squeeze this bulb Oh, there it is. Yes, sir. So now I got to take this off to get to that. <sighs> Yeehaw. So you guys who know about boat motors probably just going to laugh at me because I don't know. Apparently that's supposed to be that way. Apparently that's like a uh, overflow thing or something. And it's designed that way. I guess so it doesn't overpressure or something. Heck, I don't know. You know, like I've said before, life's tough and it's tougher when you're stupid or ignorant. In my case, I'm just ignorant. I, I learn all this stuff on my own. And instead of, you know, YouTubing at first, finding me a YouTube certified mechanic, I just start you know guessing and all that yeah makes it fun <laughs> all right so we got her in her water we got her all primed up and pumped up and filled up and choked up and she ought to start right up she ain't never had a problem starting before let's see what she does switch on look at that water pump's working forward works reverse works Oh, 
looks like that part is done. All right. Oh. Yay. <sighs> now, I gotta fix all this. Yeah, my lights are shot. I got some more to put on it. That's just all taped up too. And uh, I gotta get them put on. And, uh, yeah, we're getting closer. Oh, and I gotta fix my stern light. It got broke. So, I gotta fix that. My lens got broke off. So, gonna get another stern light on there. Yeah, we still got some work to do. We're gonna get this dude done so we can do some fishing in the morning. We gotta get her done. We gotta have fish. It's fixing, fixing to turn off cold again uh, day after tomorrow. So, tomorrow's my only good day to get out there for another week or two. So, I gotta get back at it. Stick around. All right, so we got brand new tail lights and all that and even got my tag mounted and all that stuff like I'm supposed to so got my <laughs> my rear light here and yes that's a baby food jar with some RTV around here to seal it yes sir it couldn't be not hoopty I mean, you know where you're at, right? So, I think we're ready to take her out and go catch some crappie. So, y'all want to go catch some crappie with me? I, I hope you do, because I'm planning on showing y'all and taking you with me. So, if you want to go with me on the crappie fishing, put a comment down there and say, Hey, I want to see some crappie. Well, of course, crappie is only pronounced crappy when they ain't biting. So, anyway, appreciate y'all following along with me. And uh, do me a favor. If you ain't subscribed, do that. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, share the video with your friends. Say, look at this old hillbilly. He's pretty funny old feller. Or he's not very funny. Whatever. Anyway. And uh, hit the little notification bell. So you know whenever my crappy video comes up. And until next time, you keep watching. And I'll keep working on boats or cars or junk or something. I mean, we got plenty to work on. So we'll see you next time.